Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. I am um, really excited to be here and have the honor of making the first big announcements for WWE 2K19. The next release from WWE's popular video game franchise with 2K. As many of you may know and will know, the WWE 2K19 video game will be released worldwide on October the 9th. And there has been a groundswell to hear about what kind of pack will I be creating for this new video game. Well, if you know my history, my very first pack that I've ever created was for WWE 2K16 three years ago, called Ryan Foyker DLC Pack, where you play as Rarity, Trenderhoof, Applejack, and two playable versions of myself, yours truly. Then fast forward a year later, with WWE 2K17 Equestria Girls Invasion Pack. Unfortunately, due to my um, leisure activities, I couldn't attempt to include that pack, and therefore, on May 30th, 2018, WWE 2K17's online servers were shut down, allowing the Equestria Girls Invasion Pack to be discontinued. Then lastly, we, came, we come up to the recent pack that has made an unexpected change from Equestria Girls, this time focused on um, a Rooster Teeth show called Ruby. That pack I'm referring to is called WWE 2K18 Ruby Pack. This pack is becoming the most successful pack than the other packs that I've ever done, with the succession of the Ruby Pack soundtrack that I have produced, with Two Worlds One Family and You'll Be My Heart cover songs, undergoing so much popularity and positive results from my family and friends worldwide. With the recent Mystery Ruby character, which has been revealed for W2K18 Ruby Pack, I'm sure you all have enjoyed playing as this character, and I'm sure you love this character no matter what. You know what I'm talking about, my waifu, Lumina Belladonna. Now, before I go on with the announcements, I would take my time to thank all of you for the support uh, you all gave me on my recovery from the storm that had hit my area back last Wednesday called Storm Alley. It's, the, the storm is so devastating that it has shut down all power, leaving us with no power throughout the day and a hell of a survival with as much portable charge for my phones. Um, those words that were given to me during my um, recovery was so kind and so lovely that I would like to thank all of you for that. You truly have made my tragic day into a happy day for me. So, I would like all people in Ireland, UK and Scotland um, who are watching this and were affected by that storm to take word from me and heed my cry. For those who remember the tragic day of 9-11 that happened 17 years ago in America, which became the day we'll never forget. It will be an incredible honour that, Ireland, Scot that U Ireland, UK and Scotland will now remember the deadly storm of 919. I know it sounds silly, but 919, which means every September 19th, starting next year, we will pause in silence and reflect those that were affected and killed from the deadly storm alley. So back to the announcements. What is it that I will be doing for WWE 2K19? Well, I'm here to announce, for the first time ever, I'll be creating not one, but two packs. Yep, you heard me right. Two packs. Because WWE 2K19 releases on October the 9th, with four days early access beginning on October the 5th, I thought it would be a um, tremendous honour and idea of creating two packs for WWE 2K19. Today I will announce the names and concepts of these two packs Start for WWE 2K19, starting with this one right here. This, this first pack that I will reveal to you is something that embodies the true spirit of WWE. Something that embodies the true spirit of horror and fear. 
Drum roll, please. I don't know if you can make it out at home, but there you go. You're seeing it. Well, some of you couldn't even see it, but let me tell you this. The first pack that has been revealed for W2K19 is called WWE 2K19 Horror Icons Pack. Since I'm very much of a huge horror movie fan, the WWE 2K19 Horror Icons Pack will be released, fittingly, on October 31st, this Halloween exclusively to PlayStation 4. The Horror Icons Pack will feature playable characters that you can download from WWE 2K19's Community Creations that sees five of the greatest monsters, murders, and killers from some of the most iconic horror movies in movie history. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid. Be terrified. Not only is this a short, not only is this a short little warning to you, but this message, this little warning, will serve as a global campaign theme for WWE 2K19 Horror Icons Pack. Of course, there will be two characters reveal events for these two packs, starting with the Horror Icons Pack as we get near close to its release date, October 31st. And now. The second pack to be revealed, which is indeed the main event. Since so many of my followers over the past two years sent me constant emails and tweets about, do, about me doing another Equestria Girls pack, well, this year I'm taking this request seriously. And this time, I'm, gonna, I'm giving this Equestria Girls pack a little bit of an extreme twist. Because a fan of mine named Mr. Anime Fan 411 suggested a perfect idea for a new Equestria Girls pack for the next WWE game, which is quoted a real Equestria Girls invasion. So I will take this idea into consideration and I'm going to reveal this Equestria Girls pack to you. I don't know if you can make this at home, but this pack, this Equestria Girls pack, is called WWE 2K19 Equestria Girls vs. Vampire Cheerleaders Invasion Pack. This pack will see the Equestria Girls go head-to-head -head in a WWE ring against a group of sexy but deadly cheerleaders from the hit manga series by Adam Arnold called Vampire Cheerleaders. I may not know about the manga, nor the characters from the manga, but I can tell you that this is going to be one hell of an invasion we will have here. The WWE 2K19 Equestria Girls vs. Vampire Cheerleaders Invasion Pack will be released also exclusively to PlayStation 4, either in December 2018 or early 2019. Don't worry, there will be a characters reveal event for the Equestria Girls vs. Vampire Cheerleaders Invasion Pack, sometime later this year, or next year. <sighs> now, with these packs revealed, over and done with, I hear that WWE 2K19 itself has a global campaign theme that truly is an incredible motto for the WWE superstars and other people, called Never Say Never. Not the Justin Bieber song, by the way. <laughs> so, as your content creator that I have been for the past three years now, let's get right down to it. Never say never. Let's make this happen. Let's make this motto, let's put this motto to the ultimate test. Let's make this moment come alive. That was never ever meant to happen. Until now. Um, as many of you may know, uh, my former friend and collaborator, Shinada Bita, 
and I have split up our 12 years of friendship back on September 3rd. She's not only my friend, but, a, but my sister and collaborator. I'll miss her very much in so many ways. You may notice in some of my videos that other people have collaborated with me, not just Shinada Bita. One of which is the character's reveal event that I did last year for WWE 18 Ruby Pack, which is, in my opinion, was a fun collaboration, all thanks to the good old Loveheart14679, or Virgo, or, or, or Mia, or whatever her name is, for making me break into fits of laughter with her funny and hilarious puns and jokes. Thank you, Loveheart14679, or Virgo, or Mia. You're the best. Now, before I'm about to announce, this may seem like a new era for me on YouTube, and um, to be honest, after the split up back on September 3rd, um, I'm having very much trouble regrouping. Well, I decided that not only am I going to continue making videos for you, but I have a challenge for everyone out there. If you win the contest, you can win a grand prize of becoming my newest collaborator. That's right, you heard me right. My newest collaborator. Let's do this. I'm calling it the WWE 2K19 Ryan Foyker's Collaboration Challenge. Idol entrants can participate in this challenge with three steps. Create a piece of art that deals with your personality and upload it to your DeviantArt account. Submit two promotional videos that firstly shows why you would like to collaborate with me uh, in some of my future videos and the other shows what do you love doing the most on YouTube that could make you a better collaborator like animation, MMDs, uh, vlogs, cosplaying, etc, 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 music making, whatever. And then, make it to the semi-finals round of this competition, where you eliminate five other semi-finalists in a Google Hangouts or Skype group chat that contains a series of general knowledge questions asked by me to become the last person standing. If you are the last person standing in this round, you will win the entire collaboration challenge, and not only will you become my newest collaborator in replacement of Shinada Bita, but also win this collaboration challenge trophy. There you go, get one hard look at this, because this is what you're going to win if you are the last person standing in the semi-finals round. Take a good hard look at it. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> okay. Those are the official rules, and the rules will be posted in detail uh, as soon as this video is uploaded. To get the official detailed rules of the collaboration challenge, um, then here's the official link that is now flashing on your screen. Or you can go ahead and click the link in the description of this video below to go and check it out. Now remember, be sure to read the official rules slowly and carefully so that you understand what it is and what to do. But you never thought it'd be possible, right? Well, like I told you, too many times in my life, I heard it said, never say never. Later this year, I will announce more details on the collaboration challenge and how you can put your skills and trust to the test. But for now, head on over to the link that is, again, flashing on your screen, or click, on, or click it in the description below to get official rules of the collaboration challenge. In fact, you should all clear your schedules because I know in October, some of you are going to go out and get the video game anyway. The WWE 2K19 Ryan Focus Collaboration Challenge will um, open to all participants on October the 9th, same day as the game's release. And all submissions will then have to be made and submitted to me before the closing date, which is January 31st, 2019. I will be the official timekeeper for this challenge, meaning I will keep you guys posted with, with updates on what is going on throughout the collaboration challenge. And of course, no one can replace Shinada Bita. 
But that person who will win the collaboration challenge, he or she, will probably be fun and will help me press on with what I love doing most, making videos for you. I hope you will come to enjoy that person's ideas and collaboration in my future videos and will continue to support my channel like you've done since 2000, 2013. Thank you. Uh, speaking about 2K games, I'm also happy and pleased to learn that 2K still believe in me and support me as well through uh, from my split up with Shinanobita. And I only support 2K because I love and play their games, which is of course WWE 2K games. So, let the quest to find a new collaborator begin on October 9th. Thank you all for your time. Um, as your content creator, I am thrilled and honored to be along on this one hell of a crazy ride. So now, you all know, WWE 2K19, the two packs, and the collaboration challenge will be nothing short of revolutionary. So now we're going to go to the, um, the Q&A session of this um, press conference. So um, let's turn things back over to the media so we can take some questions from you guys. Thanks, Ryan. It's now time for the Q&A portion of today's press conference. If you'd like to ask a question for Google Handout users, please raise your hand at the lens of your webcam and Ryan will answer your question. Ryan will get to as many questions as possible in the remaining time. As a courtesy to all Google Hangout users, at this press conference, please limit your questions to one or two questions. If you have additional questions you'd like to ask for Ryan, please raise your hands at the lens of your webcam so he can answer your question. Again, Ryan will answer as many questions as possible in the remaining time. So now let's hear our first question. So whoever it is, please go ahead and ask away. Working here. Well, thank you, Christian. Um, the reason why I decided to do um, two packs is because of the release date, which W2K19 comes out on October the 9th, with four days early access beginning on October the 5th. So the reason why I thought I would do um, two packs, uh, as according to over here, is because um, I just thought I'd try something new, right? Something new, something experimental, just because of the game's release date. And I know that... Two of these packs will be um, much more better for um, W2K19 because, what can you say, it's 2K19, the video game is shaping up very well. I mean, I didn't get a chance to play at the 2K event that held in um, Performance Center in Orlando, Florida because I wasn't even invited by 2K, which hopefully one day I will be to invite um, if they're doing W2K20, you know, but, but um, yeah. So that's my answer to your question because the answer is the reason why I'm doing this is because it's something new, it's because of release day, and um, yeah, that's that's my answer to your question. So thanks for that, um, Christian. Question here. Um, well, um, Loveheart14679, my good old buddy, um, for the Horror Icons pack, well, you don't really get, like, backgrounds or something like that, like, for PS4 or something. Like I said, the two packs will be exclusive to PS4 only, not Nintendo Switch this year, because, because of the backlash for the 2K18's Nintendo Switch, of 2K18 last year, there were so many backlashes from people complaining about the lack of gameplay on there, and it was considered to be like one of the worst ports for W2K18 has ever given. You know what I mean? So, so for the Horror Icons pack, um, there will be a character reveal event. So I'm not going to go through um, the characters right now because you have to wait sometime this year. Uh, just in time for the release date, which is October 31st, exclusively to PS4. Um, so, uh, I, I, I mean, words can describe it. I mean, just, sorry, I, I just, I'm trying to get an answer from you, Virgo, but, um, yeah, so, Horror Icons pack will be released on October 31st, but you have to wait, because there will be five characters in that pack, 
Whereas Crusher Girls versus Pamela Cheerleaders probably would be more than that, more than five, because this is just like a the horror icons pack will be like a limited time offer. So uh, I'll be making trailers and all that stuff, but um, that's all I can describe. About, that's all I can say about your question. Hopefully that answers your question. And um, yeah, so that's my answer. You have to wait for the um, character reveal event for the horror icons pack to come up on my YouTube channel. So, and I'll be posting renders on Deviant, on my DeviantArt, just to showcase all they are, and I'll keep you guys uploaded on Twitter and stuff like that. So, hopefully that answers your question. Question here? Hey Ryan, yeah. why did you split up with Sonoga Peter? I can't answer that question at this present time because it may deem personal. So, because like what they always say, what happens at home stays at home. So, um, unfortunately, Steve, um, I can't answer that question because if I do answer this question, then otherwise there will be more drama. So, I cannot answer that question. This has to be kept um, private because I don't want to go into more detail. So, unfortunately, I can't answer that question. So, next please. Question here. The character of yours, will, is there by any chance he will be feeding? Are you talking about my uh, virtual wrestler? Well, okay, so if you're talking about my virtual wrestler that I had for the past 12 years, um, yeah, my virtual wrestler will be in WB2K19, but will not be in either of these two packs because they're not el because my, my character is not eligible for any because I'm not a horror icon and I'm not one of the Equestria girls. I wish I will, so I can get to hang out with the, the Equestria girls more often. So, yeah. So, my answer is, my character will be in it, but not in the packs. So, I'll create myself and not include my character in the pack. So, that answers your question. Question here? Hmm, I don't have something else. Oh, yeah, the 2K19 DLC packs, where are they? Well, if you're paying attention, the first pack I revealed to you is um, WB2K19 Horror Icons pack, which will feature five playable um, characters um, from some of the greatest horror movie icons, because I love horror films. I used, I love watching horror films. I only watch classical horror films like um, Saw, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Freddy Krueger. I may, not, I may have given away the characters already, but... If you what if you um, watch the characters real event for a horror icons pack sometime later on this year before October thirty first, and you know who will you be playing as, and the other one and the other pack you're mentioning is Equestria Girls versus Vampire Cheerleaders, where I finally took request from a lot of people to bring back for me to bring back Equestria Girls for a WWE game, so I did, but I'd give it a little bit of a good twist to see how they think of it with. Vampire Cheerleaders pack with the manga series. So, um, so the Equestria Girls vs. Vampire Cheerleaders pack will come out either December 2018 or early 2019. It depends on where I'm at currently. So, I hope that answers your question. Question here? Like, whoever wins that uh, tournament of yours, do they get their OC featured? Kind of like with Shinada, you know, with Limia. Oh, oh, yeah, you, you, you mean my um, collaboration challenge? Well, yes, um, um, it, it depends on the last person standing, because at the semi-finals round, there will be general knowledge questions asked by me. So on the day of the semi-finals round, probably next year, but the official rules will be posted on, on DeviantArt as soon as this video is uploaded. So, um, obviously, uh, so, okay, how do I say this? Um, so, uh, the collaboration challenge, okay? To be the last person standing, you have to eliminate five people um, in the semi-finals round to become the last person standing. And when you are the last person standing, you will win the collaboration challenge with the trophy in hand that I just showed you. And what happens then? Well... Well, the, the winner will get the chance to send ideas to me. And uh, if I need that person, I just contact that person and say, Hey, 
uh, I need you because I need you to uh, like voice record or something like that. Because for the past few videos with my former collaborator Shanana Beater, I've done a lot of voice recording, both in on you in YouTube and out of YouTube. Um, so that new person for the collaboration challenge will, um, you know, get contacted by me if I needed that person to, um, get like, uh, voice recording done or need her, needed that person to, to come to me. Well, actually what I mean was like, uh, that the winner can also come into me and say, Hey, I've got an idea for a YouTube video. Do this, do that, do this, do that. And stuff like that. Cause that's what's going to happen to the winner, to myself, and the winner of the collaboration challenge. So, so yeah, their OCs, as you mentioned, their OCs will be featured in some of my videos and that person's videos, um, including Lumi including my sexy waifu Lumina Belladonna that I've, um, uh, I don't want to go too rude or anything like that. I did last night. <laughs> I, I don't want to go too, I don't want to go too much personal, but, um, so yeah, so, that answers your questions. That my answer is yes. My uh, and the winners OC characters uh, will be featured in some of my videos and that person's video. So, yeah, that's your answer to your question. And there's a final reminder to all Google Hangout users at this press conference: if you'd like to ask a question once again, you must raise your hand at the lens of your webcam. for joining today's WWE 2K19 press conference presented by 2K. As a reminder, follow Ryan Foraker on social media for the latest WWE 2K19 news and information, as well as details about the WWE 2K19 Ryan Foraker's collaboration challenge. This concludes today's press conference. Pre-order the Deluxe Edition and play four days early.